So welcome to the Margin Business Digital Entrepreneur Podcast. In today's episode, we got Daria. Daria from uh, Cellematics. So Daria, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. I have a lot of questions for you because obviously your software is helping a lot of people in the Middle East to sell a lot, especially uh, for noon. And Amazon um, um, deliberately took uh, noon first because noon is as well um, a marketplace to mention in the UAE and Amazon obviously, you know, is there as well. And uh, uh, some people discuss who is the overhand, but you got the data. You will tell us, you will tell us a lot more about that. But first, um, let's start just um, Daria, tell us where are you uh, at the moment or from from where we are speaking with you? And yeah, then let us a little bit know about how did you got to a software like that? And then I will try to understand a little bit more about the Middle Eastern marketplaces. Sure. Um, I'm actually now based in Dubai uh, and um, uh, the, the, the journey started uh, basically already 13 years ago in China. Uh, then I came to China, I realized that the e-commerce is something growing really fast and I didn't have much skills. I didn't have any skills. I couldn't speak English, I couldn't speak Chinese. And the only one thing what I could do, could, could do is like to serve, um, I'm from there, I'm from Russia and uh, to, to, to serve those websites which they do in procurement in China. Um, because a few years ago it was like global trend and people using uh, Taobao API, Taobao is the largest marketplace in China, they have API, so they list the product, they translate them automatically via uh, Google Translate uh, and uh, get in the orders. But once they get in the orders, they issue, someone need to procure those things, to buy those things from Taobao, pack it and send it in different parcels uh, to, 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 to the country. And there are a lot of uh, businesses which were uh, generated a lot of money, like, oh, can like you imagine? Maybe 10 years ago, yeah. Okay, so th that's, that, wow. That's, no, that, that's how I get to e-commerce. Okay. And uh, I, I had been in e-commerce all this time and I used to live in China for 12 years. So uh, I, I saw how their largest uh, Amazon sellers Chinese Amazon sellers grow, uh, how they actually emerge and, and uh, I, I, I saw everything what's going on. Um, and um, at, at, at that point, I already been working uh, in the company. Uh, I used to work in big uh, Chinese companies and big Russian companies, tech companies. Uh, and uh, it was all, all of this was marketplaces. So I... Okay. Uh, it as a basically management from mar like marketplace management and uh, I get to know all their all the, all the community all the community and where we uh, realize that the only the why sellers I uh, um, are growing is like especially small sellers and honestly it's the 90 percent of no, no, not 90, I would say 70% of the success is actually um, product search, right? Okay. Product search, right? Product preparation, right? Uh, right, right? SEO strategy, right? Basically, just uh, you, you need data to grow. And you actually, if you're uh, smart enough so you can read data, which is like most other people can do, uh, like simple numbers, and you are actually willing to work and uh, you are using the correct data, uh, it's uh, still very good opportunities for uh, many people in many, many regions. Sure, but it's, I think it's not too easy to read the 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 data like 100% correctly you know because you need to have some kind of uh, some kind of a skill to to understand what you're doing because a software like like uh, like you built is not not coming from yeah from 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 nothing you know and i think uh, what you mentioned 10 years or 13 years um it's it's uh, how long how long actually it took um to uh, to create the beginning the beginning of Salamatics. Uh, uh, how long is that ago? I mean, I'm sure you were inspired by the Chinese market and 
all the tools they have because they have tools that's an, on another level, you know, where we really can go all to sleep if we if we look at their tools, you know. Um, yeah, but I, I, it's it's a good question uh, because they 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 more have um, there's actually lots of lots of different tools and they 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 using everything including their U.S. tools, Chinese tools. So it's like yeah, they do a mix, huh? Yeah, they, they, they do the mix, and uh, I guess what uh, other competitors do in the US come market is like pretty, pr pr really amazing, very impressive. Um, we started uh, three years ago, um, and then at the moment, the COVID hit, and we were in the niche of working with cross border sellers. And cross border is was the very worst thing to do than it was COVID because there are no flights. Yeah. So we decided that they need to do something more stable and working, and we started to approach in the big companies, uh, okay. and so how they get into the enterprise game. Uh, so we have now companies who's working with us like L'Oreal, um, SAB Group, um, like I don't know, Vivo, Heinz, uh, PNG, and many, many more. They have more than forty corporate clients, and okay, the, this is like kind of part of the business which is called Cellomatics and the second part called Sales Screen IO where we have we give X access to the tool the, to the data uh good quality data but of a very reasonable prices to their SMBs. Okay. So Cellomatics and Cellscreen.io is definitely we talk here about um the Middle East most of mostly I mean obviously there is other countries but I want to um, really uh, focus on uh, on KSA and UAE today when I speak to you, and which is as well very very interesting because from my point of view or from what the research that I've done, you are one of the only tools or the only tool who actually give data for noon. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. It's as far as you know, we only one. Yeah. Okay. So because I I, I checked it out and uh, I didn't find anything, so. The, the data of noon because noon obviously functions a little bit a little bit different um than amazon can you can you give us the, the the difference for anyone to understand how this actually works because i know um amazon is uh obviously they are both search and they work have search engine but they don't have the a9 algorithm um noon for example how how because sometimes when i search there you know there comes some it's it's not the same feeling you know it's like it's like you tap a little bit into the blind when you when you go with noon and you don't have a, a cell screen. Is that correct? Yeah. So basically, the the difference, the, the first thing is that, that that there are some misconceptions in the market about the noon marketplace. But what we are see that actually the numbers for Amazon uh, UAE is only 30% higher than for Noon. And Noon is very aggressive because as you can see in Dubai, at least there are lots of advertisement uh, like... Oh, yes. In every building, I guess, has like noon advertising. They're very aggressive and I guess they continue to grow. The next thing is most of their sellers, big sellers, we are working with they say that their revenue is comes 50 50 from noon and amazon so i think noon is very important uh, channel but you are right it's the yarn platform they started only four years ago so basically uh the good thing that some of the infrastructure is new which is not yes. like amazon the no, best thing all. lots of, lots to build you know it's like they just this year they just launched their uh, PPC campaigns basically, just like few months ago. They don't have API to their account. It's gonna be uh, basically um, out maybe in in two weeks, something like this. And just okay. just just it's it's all in the pro, pro, pro progress and it's all these lots of changes that we've known and for us as a service providers it's a lot of headache uh but i can definitely see here uh lots of potential um and but i don't know it's on, on the second th like lots of sellers they say like oh noon is so 
such a mess to be honest like this is not clear that is not clear you know like lots of people lots of things need to be atomized you spend need to work but usually uh then people get used to that it's also still okay and the beauty of knowing that uh, the, the team is very local marketplace is not that big it's like kind of different so basically uh you can get their account manager right you can get the numbers of the category manager if you really do your research you can get to any person in the company most likely who can help to solve your problem so it's not actually that much problem as as i see so uh i think it's um like more human approach is uh manual human approach is something that is uh works for no Okay. Okay. That's. Uh, that, I think this is this is exactly what I've seen as well from Noon. Um, just one question for the API of Noon. Um, is the do they do they sell their API or do they have like an application same as Amazon the process or is it different? Uh, no, they don't sell it. Uh, they go on. A, they don't have actually API. So, for example, if you want to upload the product and you're the big brand, let's say Adidas. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the same Adidas and the seller. They both don't have API to upload the products. Okay, wow. Basically, and there are no the, any tool to you know like to 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 uh, optimize that. So it's basically um, it's basically like uh, very 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 wide list <laughs> uh, at this point. I mean, I've I've seen that. You know, I, I can tell you because it's a funny story. I need to. Um, because myself, when I do something, I need to understand the process behind it, you know? So yeah. what I did is, um, I had, I had a lot of products and I said, okay, uh, I don't, I don't want to do it like Amazon, just like send and that's it. I don't see them, you know, because Amazon and UAE is very easy. You don't even have a landing permission. You're, uh, the, the, the guys from the shipping are doing everything, you know, they just put it in. It's very friendly here. So I wanted to see how noon does work, you know, because noon is new, um, there is a little bit of differences. It seems a bit, a little bit not backwards, but a little bit more manual, as we as we already said. So I said, okay, I grab the car and I drive all my products myself. I did, uh, you know, I did everything filled out online, um, did uh, did the appointment and everything, you know, and fifty degrees. I'm <laughs> preparing, you know, with all the all the all the drivers, you know, preparing my paper because I wanted to see how it how it looks, how it works. So I drove in. Everything fine. I go to the to the you know I have landing permission. Go in, um, show them my my papers and everything. And there's lots of people waiting. So I can tell you, it's really like um, still a bit manual, but very organized. And the process mm -hmm. inside noon is super organized as well. So, oh. uh, as you said, it's it's a huge warehouse, and you know they have a very a lot of manual processes. In order to make sure that the products are not broken and not uh, counterfeit, um, all of all of the good stuff. So really, um, I was very surprised, uh, super surprised. It was very fast, like twenty minutes, and I was out. Um, hmm. Had my paper, every, and next day everything was scanned in. So really, um, I think I think they're on the right track. Let's say it this way, you know. I just yeah. wanted to share that because I really uh, I was really surprised, and uh, uh, but I needed to see that before in order to understand what I'm actually doing. So yeah, this is uh, just just uh, on the on the sideline um, for noon. Um, yeah, for 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 Amazon, for example. I mean, you provide as well, obviously, the data for Amazon, um, UAE uh, for Amazon, uh, KSA. Um, what trend do you see at the moment? I mean, data wise, uh, how how fast are we actually growing? Um, so um, I would say. Uh, the, the grow is very seasonal in this region. Uh, everybody know this, but yes. it's, it's, it's like it's really, 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 really um, big difference between summer season and the high season. You also can see it in the traffic. Then you check like similar web and we also can see it in JNV. So basically, usually for Amazon and for Noon, both they double their JMV during the high season, during the uh, starting actually from September, October, November, December, um, January, February, March, great 
time to sell. So seasonality is uh, gives a very big difference in JMV for both Noon and Amazon. Uh, and the high season starts from there uh, September and usually it ends in uh, April. It's also uh, lots of different uh holidays uh, we, for different nationalities. So some people have Christmas, some of the people uh, have uh, some different um, so, so some different uh, religious uh, like holidays. So um, I, I would say that um, like to be honest, more in Middle East market, Amazon and uh, Noon, they need more kind of more focus uh, and uh, more planning in terms of the inventory, in terms of stock, in terms of budgets, more tight timing, uh, because, you know, like to really make money, you need to be uh, on point. I know lots of sellers, they don't like seasonal products. They say like, oh, seasonal products, I don't play this game. Uh, but unfortunately for Middle East, usually if you want to yes. get really big, you, you need to consider that. The second uh, difference is that, for example, for many markets, people can launch two good listings, one good listing, and actually made a, made a fortune from that. Uh, for Middle East, you need to like do a lot of products, probably you need to have five to 15 products uh, simultaneously. So it's not like test, it's just how business uh, works. So you can actually uh, make a good number for that. But I can see that there are good sellers here, the uh, large, large numbers, they, uh, and it's, it's um, I would say it's like easier to launch, you don't need to bigger budget to, to, to start. And your question in terms of like where we going, uh, I can see that actually the numbers are growing. Um, to be honest, some num some numbers are bad. It's like year to year, I don't see much difference for the summer. Okay. Uh, but I think uh, in 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 uh, high season is gonna be better. Uh, first because it's market growing, uh, essentially, and the second is also like more sellers uh, entering the game. So we can see the six hundred sellers come into the Amazon every week. So uh, wow. before the every week, every week, yeah. So before they calculate the total market, so they calculate that there is uh, 4,000 existing sell sellers like in the noon mm -hmm. and there is around uh, 8,000 existing sellers uh, in Amazon. Uh, so 11,000. But with that speed, of course, there are kind of churn rate and Sarah, uh, but with that speed, I think year by year, market gone double in terms of number of sellers. And Elsa, I'm talking with the team, like, internally with the, with, the, with the both teams of marketplaces and people saying that they have very high KPIs and very uh, like and they have budgets to support that goals. So they actually going to grow very aggressively. What I can say that uh, most of the growth, to be honest, comes from the uh, KSA. KSA is a really sweet place because it's very Interesting. good market. It's very gated. It's very complicated, but uh, <laughs> yes. numbers there are great. So basically, if we would say that uh, total JMV for, for noon is around uh, two hundred fifty million durance per month, so in the KSA is usually is double of that number. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because Big country, big population, so it's like, and it's also the country of young people, so it's, uh, uh, I think it's very promising. Okay, that uh, sounds very interesting, you know. I mean, in general, like, like I'm always saying, you know, the Middle East, especially the UAE uh, and KSA in terms of e-commerce, I mean, we always forget about Qatar and, and Bahrain and all the other countries, but um, I, I'm, I don't know, but I'm quite sure you tell me as well, but I think there will be at some point like Amazon, maybe Amazon Bahrain or uh, Amazon Qatar, depending. But I don't think right now, but maybe uh, in the future we will see it as well because they all buy at the moment from from the UAE as well. So um, yeah. it's pro very, very promising. 
Yeah, and uh, I know that next one probably going to be uh, Amazon South Africa. Oh, the next. That, yeah. that is that is super interesting, you know, because this Hopefully is this is definitely a, a very um, important population in, in terms of e-commerce because I think they have their own marketplaces down there. Yeah, yeah, um, they have. Um, but definitely uh, Amazon. I mean. Do they have Jumia there? Do you know that? Mm, no, no, no. They, 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 this is the reason because uh, Jumia is very active in uh, Egypt, for example. Okay. Egypt is like, growing good, but compared to their like SA, the numbers are like like low, quite low. And because it's close, it's a closed marketplace. Yeah, and Jumia dominate the market. But if they're saying about North or oh, South Africa, they don't have Jumia. Uh, they have no? yeah, take a lot. Correct, correct. Take correct. a lot. Yeah, correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the South African marketplace called Take a Lot, and I yeah. guess you will have it in your portfolio from next month on in Sell Screen uh, that IO. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah sure, sure. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> so. What what I want to know is uh, now you have now you have the screen the 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 sell screen um, software mm -hmm. which obviously is helping a lot of sellers um, on Noon uh, on Amazon uh, uh, UAE on Amazon KSA and beyond that as well. But what I want to know where what is your your aim? I mean, what is your goal? Where are you? Where are you going? What you want to add? I mean, a part of take a lot. Um, what would be uh, the next push into? Um, so basically, uh, like our business model, it's take, like, it's, it's, it has two, two, two things. First is, uh, uh, corporate clients and basically for corporate clients, we usually do, uh, what client need. Uh, so for example, if they need Turkey, they do Turkey and Sarah, if they need uh, South Africa, we add South Africa, but what, uh, me personally, uh, I think, and and uh, we, our focus is going to be more on SMBs, to be honest. Uh, okay. And um, I think we're going to uh, provide the better tools for the KSA. Uh, and also once Amazon in South Africa, it's probably going to be uh, South Africa. Uh, because of population, it's still 58 million people. So it's like quite a big uh, market. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to develop quite intensively as well. Uh, and... Um, yeah, so basically, um, and other ulti ultimate goal is just to provide more tools, like productivity tools for the sellers we already work with, and for the new sellers. For example, there are issues with uh, payment reconciliation uh, for the noon, uh, because it's sometimes very hard to understand uh, how much marketplace supposed to pay and you know like uh what what their uh total balance uh and it's also very manual so uh we are gonna uh like we, we are now have this as, as a service so it's like semi manual uh, okay. and probably so it's gonna be like uh, automatic so you can actually see like your your balance all of your oh uh, that's good yeah, on trust me, that's really good because because it's it's really hard. It's hard to go through. I mean, we are we are lucky that we that we understand the Amazon. I mean, understand is a big word as well, but the Amazon back office and everything what is in there, we know uh, the complexity of it, and that's why I think for noon uh, I was quite prepared, but I was not <laughs> that prepared uh, that it's so uh, upside down, you know. And uh, I think I'm sure a tour a tool to um, to bring everything in one place. Uh, would 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 definitely help it help uh, really a lot. Yeah, so thank you uh, so much, Daria. Um, one last question uh, for 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 that one. Um, do you have a do you have like a message to the UAE um, uh, or KSA uh, sellers who want to come or who are already there? What what would you what would be your, your message to them? Uh, a, a part of a part of obviously using your tool, you know, because uh, <laughs> like this they can sell obviously a lot more. Yeah, uh, no, my, my, my point is actually uh, still um, still that first, it's there are lots of opportunities in the market. And the beauty of that, that you actually can start with very low budget, like basically, if you have 10,000, I suggest you to do it, because 
what else happening now in, in the economy, what we see, money they make, they turns to ashes very quickly because of inflation. And uh, not everyone can put this money into like a property or any other like liquid asset. And uh, the, the building your uh, business on Amazon and Noon is actually building that kind of business like liquid asset because uh, in the market, it's a big need for that kind of listings. And the reason why, because lots of um lots of uh, rich people come into the region uh and they're saying like okay i have business there i have business here what can i do in dubai uh what what how how i can how what kind of business i can launch here uh should i open there like beauty salon or should i you know like do uh, anything else and lots of people actually think that generating the Durham's profit because Durham's profit is basically U.S. profit. The the uh, exchange rate is forever the same. So it's basically like, should I generate dollars profit in this market, uh, and should I invest in the in the business? And lots of but lots of people they understand, especially people with money, that it's not that easy just to launch and you know like have good great business. So they actually looking for listings. They're looking for listings to buy, um, like for example, uh, and for for now there, um, the the, the, the um, it's cost around twenty net profits monthly net profits per per, per 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 the company. It's not the big money, but I know the people who are actually building the business to actually to sell, uh, and I also know a lot of people who are willing to invest in that kind of thing. So actually, if you, if, if you want to sell your business, <laughs> like, let us know. Uh, and um, my, my point is that there are a lot of opportunities. It's a great moment to start because it's not uh, like very competitive yet and you can start with uh, low budget. Uh, and uh, and uh, I think it's uh, also too great to have uh, the yeah, and the, the 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 stable business, especially if you're from developing countries, uh, like uh, here, because what else I can see from other clients, some of the clients they are like business which were built not by them but the fathers when they came to yes. UAE many years ago. So it's actually it's kind of very stable, and they dominate in the market in yes. in in some sense. But there are a lot of niches which are uh open so you just need to be smart you need to be hard working and you definitely can make it great thank you that's that's a great advice definitely yeah so where, where can anyone get in contact with you um if you uh, have questions about about uh, your amazing software sure i have uh linkedin i have uh instagram and uh... i will put everything under under uh, under the podcast so uh if anyone is interested obviously we're going to put as well the screen the cell screen uh, io so you can have a look at the software and see if it uh, fits your needs uh, what i uh, highly recommend to uh, to check it out great thank, thank you. you so much daria thank you a lot great.